This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Chloe K. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's up guys, it's your boy Chris and you're watching Fish for Thought. And welcome back to another episode of Fish Tank Review. Yo, you guys did it again. 1200 likes like it's nothing. Let's do another 1200 likes to unlock next week's episode. Like squad, let's do this. Oh yeah, I'm actually going to Japan and Korea tomorrow. Your boy's going to be taking a vacation. Perfect time if you haven't already to join me up on Instagram to get all the latest photos on my trip. Come experience the trip with me. That's also where I post a lot of viewer submitted tanks by you as well. Just cause I'm away for Japan and Korea doesn't mean that there's no more FTRs. There will definitely be FTRs while I'm gone. And there may even be a special guest or two. All right, before we get into this first video, let me just say that this is sarcasm. The title of FTRs are a lot of the times sarcastic. Wait a minute, what does he mean? This tank is too big for the fish. This tank is too small for the fish. Our whoosh. Hi, I'm David from No Clean Aquariums, the company that makes cleaning fish tanks as easy as pouring a glass of water. Be sure to check out the clip below to see our latest improvements since originally filming this video. Say goodbye to that hassle and chore. All it takes is a very quick pour. Introducing Hot Habit Pro 2 Self-Cleaning Fish Bowl. <laughs> Pour clean water in and dirty water flows out. Really? It's the fastest, easiest, mess free, and fun way to have fish in your home or office. How do I what know? About the dechlorinator. Because I am a fish. You and are. I love my beautiful new home. <laughs> is that what a fish sounds Let like? Let me tell you a little story. This is where I used to live. My sticks, huh? <laughs> 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 then, my good friends, Craig and David, came oh. along and invented Whoa. the world's first self-cleaning aquarium. How long is this and thing? And it's not Holy just for cow. big fish. It's great for small goldfish, oh, African small dwarf frogs, okay. and even ghost shrimp. <laughs> even it's ghost amazing. shrimp. I don't know how these guys do it. Okay, when it's time for a cleaning. No, 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 no. That's no, no, the no, no. old way. Wow. cleans itself. Pretty magical. Gravity Flow 2 automatically stops when the job is done, ensuring no spills or messes. You can even recycle the dirty water to fertilize your plants. There's none of the old vet and you stay clean and dry. Wow. Gravity Flow 2 <laughs> sets up in minutes. We stay and clean and dry. Up any space. There are, and the glass is blown with pride in oh, the yeah. USA. Made in USA. If Let's do it, America. Fancy, Thanks so much for watching. With your support, we'll continue inventing self-cleaning aquariums to help you and your aquatic friends live happy, asshole free lives. just staring. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or get in touch anytime at NoCleanAquariums.com. Man, that last little advertisement by both of them, they both look real high. David looked like a super chill high. And David's friend, whatever the heck his name is, um, he looked like, you know, he was really out of it. Right, you know what I said in the beginning where this is actually sarcasm? Yeah, it is, but I can see how this may in fact help out the lazier fish keeper. What I don't agree with is this size of a fish bowl is good enough for a betta, definitely not a small goat fish. Maybe shrimp, yeah, sure. Well, it doesn't have to be ghost shrimp like they said. For some reason, they went from goat fish to even ghost shrimp. I guess they're trying to illustrate it can have anything in it, which no, it can't. I feel like they need to, the next version three, make an actual fish tank like that. But it's still not an excuse to bypass all the research in this hobby and just, you know, not care about the psycho, not care about why we do water changes. Let me just skip over a few things, especially the decorations they used. And again, the suggestion that little tiny goldfish can, or small goldfish can be kept in this fish bowl. No, it can't. This fish tank is sent in by Jamie Martinez. Whoa, this is a looker. It's got that wild untamed look. And what I really like about this, it's it's got a school of either pencil fish or is that mountain minnow or black neon. I can't really tell. I'm gonna go with pencil fish and a centerpiece betta. Now, 
It's also a long tank. The tank specs and the stocking options don't go any more better than this. I love it. Got some almond leaves. It's got that natural like brown look to it. And then it's got all these plants floating up top. There's frogbit. There's some hydrocotto in the picture. Valisneria giving off shoots. Amazon sword, Marimo moss ball. Love the hardscape. This is a nice, nice tank. You can just tell that these plants are taking care of whatever little nitrogen that the fish are producing. Nutrient rich substrate. Ooh, there's a little Anubias nana and some tiger lotus. Wow, this is deceptively like, just you see more and more plants as you look at it. 4.8 out of five, very strong start. Oof, the caption to this picture is, it's understocked. <laughs> I like your sarcasm. Very like-minded there. Hmm? Yeah, hopefully this is just a holding container, um, not the permanent home. This, this can't be just a permanent enclosure for all these fish, no way. At least I hope not. Let's cross our fingers. Just saved this betta fish from a Kijiji ad a few hours ago. Surprisingly, the fish is very healthy and active. Okay, there's too much to read. TLDR saved a fish. <laughs> but the real question I have is, I don't see the fish. Where is the fish? I, I don't see a fish, my dude. No matter how hard I look, I don't... <laughs> I'm not saying you didn't save a fish. I'm just saying I don't see it. <laughs> Whoa, Austin Bearer sent in this beautiful tank. Of course, the first thing I wonder is, is that plant in the back real? It might be an artificial plant. If it is, what's it doing in there? Take it out. Also not a big fan of like the artificial decor they sell you at the big chain pet stores like those hides over there. You can try swapping it out for real wood, real rocks. There's so much to choose from. But having said that, this is quite a simple and nice tank. Your bed it looks so colorful. The stocking is very low. I don't see any contradicting stocking options with the betta. Very roomy, a lot of live plants, and they're gonna fill up the tank real well, given a few months. I think you can fill up the back a little more with plants. I think you can even make a carpet in the front. Other than that, you're off to a really good start. 4.5 out of five, good job. The white elephant gift had me searching. I guess it's a popular gift. It pisses me off. You all are right, it would would never be okay to give a dog or cat to give a dog or cat in the death i know what you're trying to say but just work on your grammar next time fish and chips huh great idea i don't know what this white elephant thing is but it can go to hell for suggesting this crap okay at first i was looking at this um you know just like three bettas in three tragically small enclosures. I'm not even shocked at this point. I've done like, what, 30, 31 episodes, 32 episodes of these, and I see it all the time. Small tanks for bettas, we get it. Bettas are just the most abused pet. And then I look at the one to the right, <laughs> and there's like glowfish, there's neon tetras, and there might even be another betta in there. <laughs> Get out of here. Steve Angel sent in this tank. Right off the bat, I kind of know what kind of plant that is. It's one of those like plants from AliExpress where it's like $1 for this pack of like 500 seeds. Now Steve, update me on this tank a few months later because I don't know if these plants actually last a long time or are like legit underwater plants. Let me know. Other than that, I mean, if the plants are legit, uh, it's a really nice carpet and you have Anubias attachments, you got some java fern going, pretty nice, dude. I would recommend some more hardscape to fill out the back, maybe taller plants also help fill out the back. That red light is very alarming. It's like I'm about to fight the final boss or something. Pretty nice betta. You can fill up your water all the way up. You don't have to worry about the betta jumping, you have a lid. So yeah, a bit unsure about this tank, but uh, I mean, the bed is in a proper enclosure. There's a filter. The tank is not too big, not too small. 4.2 out of five for now. We'll see how that goes. Spotted on AliExpress. I mean, what the heck is that thing? It looks like some gross, like bodily fluids coming out of, you know, the Pokemon muck. That's all I can think of. It's not aesthetic at all. And we don't even have to go over what the hell is wrong with the stocking options. Goldfish again, goldfish not goat fish. I have no words. Loco Craigslist sale. Neither do I, neither do I. This tank is ended by at BG underscore aquariums. Check them out on Instagram. Now, 
You've heard me hate on all those stupid fish tanks with the stupid SpongeBob decor, but this is different and I'll tell you why. First of all, there's clearly more effort put into this. All three of their houses are there and it's in the, in the same, in the actual order of the show, the pineapple, the uh, Easter egg, or the, <laughs> the Easter head, and the rock. Secondly, Although I don't think the plants are live, maybe the Elodia, if that is Elodia, or that might also be Amazon sword over there. They're trying to make this tank look kind of natural with live plants. The size of the tank is also big enough for the stocking options. Now I can't really tell what kind of fish are in there except a betta, but it's got way more than enough room. So despite this being a SpongeBob fish tank, it's done way better than all the rest. 3.5 out of five. So sad that when you search betta tank, all you find is this. Oh, oof. Oh, yikes. How to take care of a betta fish? Okay, number one, take it out of that thing. That's. That's the first step to how to care for a betta fish. Hey, there's the self-cleaning glass betta fish. Doesn't look anything like the one we saw in the video. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully they got that patented, you know what I'm saying? And we're back to awful, disgusting, wait a second. Okay, <laughs> the SpongeBob thing distracted me from the fact that this is a betta sorority tank. Look at their fins. Wait, no, that's a male. There might be even more males than that one. They might all be males. They've just been attacking each other's fins and destroying their each other's fins in fights. Oh, this is awful. This is negative two quadrillion out of nothing. Gives me a headache. How do you neglect a tank for that long? Look at the water lines. That's next level, that's ridiculous. That must be like two years worth of no water changes, especially if the tank has a lid too. I mean, water evaporates, but not that fast, especially indoors. <laughs> Goodness. And from the preview pictures down below, it looks like it's an Oscar. Might be a big enough tank, but not enough water. Probably dying from ammonia burn. Just hang in there. Hopefully you guys like this episode. Again, I'll be away in Japan and Korea for the next two weeks, but I will still be posting FTRs regularly. So definitely check me out on Instagram to follow my experience and adventure. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet.